Maryland, Maryland Congressman Senny Hoyer is the number two Democrat in the House. He attended that closed-door briefing with Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein this morning. Uh, Congressman, thank you very much for joining us. Thank what, you, Katie. What did you learn from Rod Rosenstein? What in particular stood out to you? <laughs> well, you understand this was a classified briefing, uh, but uh, I think what I knew and what I was uh, made comfortable with, uh, I think he has proceeded in a way uh, he clearly wants to raise the confidence level of the American people on the facts uh, that are going to be disclosed and they will get to the bottom of whatever the uh, whatever the facts are. And uh, Rob Rosenstein, we've known him, Rosenstein, in Maryland for a long time. Uh, we have a great deal of confidence in him. Uh, and uh, I think that Bob Mueller's appointment was uh, an excellent appointment, which will, in fact, uh, lead to a very fair, thorough uh, investigation, and uh, the facts will uh, will dictate the result, uh, now, not politics. Yes. So that uh, I'm confident of that. Yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yesterday, Rod Rosenstein uh, told uh, members of the Senate that he was, according to their accounts, that he was aware that President Trump was going to fire FBI Director Comey before he wrote that memo. Did you get any more information on that, number one? And number two, are you comfortable for, with the role that he played in the ousting of FBI Director James Comey? Look, I have uh, forget about what he told us in the, in the briefing. There is absolutely zero doubt in my mind uh, that President Trump uh, was accurate when he said, A, he had decided to remove uh, Mr. Comey long before he discussed it with the Attorney General and the Deputy Attorney General, uh, B, uh, that he removed him uh, because of uh, the Russia investigation, which he thought was baseless, uh, and three, because he thought Comey was showboating. Uh, so that I think that uh, there is a little doubt in my mind, not, not coming out of the uh, uh, the briefing by uh, the Deputy Attorney General, but in my mind, that uh, when President Trump said he removed him because of Russia, uh, that was the honest uh, underlying cause uh, for his actions. Well, I think that was inappropriate, but I think that's what he did. Well, on that note, are you confident the President and the DOJ are going to keep their hands out of this investigation? After all, he does have the power still to fire uh, Robert Mueller. Uh, apparently, he does not. Uh, under, as I, I, and I, I may be wrong on this, but uh, what we heard in terms of the uh, statute uh, and regulation under which Mueller was appointed, he cannot be removed except for cause, and that must be by Rosenstein himself. Got it. Are uh, you now, confident I'm, Rosenstein's I, I, not going to interfere in this election or this uh, absolute, investigation? I, absolutely. Got it. Everything I've known about Rob Rosenstein over the last uh, 12 years, frankly, uh, as U.S. Attorney in the state of Maryland, uh, has been that he's a straight arrow. Uh, he, he does not play politics. He doesn't play favorites. Uh, and uh, I'm pretty confident that uh, uh, he would not have appointed somebody of the integrity uh, and reputation of Bob Mueller if he thought he was going to interfere in any way. I don't think that the I don't think we have to worry about that. I don't think that will happen. Any clarity on whether or not this is going to be a criminal investigation? No, there was no clarity, and I can understand that. Uh, uh, clearly, everybody uh, believes that there may be there may be criminal uh, uh, findings. Uh, there may be a reason to take uh, action in, from a criminal perspective, because there may be some sort of obstruction of justice, which so often happens in cases uh, of this type. But uh, the answer to that, uh, that is we don't know yet, and Mr. Rosenstein properly was very reticent. To, uh, he made no... Uh, judgment as to whether that was going to be the case or not, as he should not. Uh, but let me say something in terms of uh, the fact of, of what Mr. Mueller is doing, uh, what the former FBI Director Mueller is doing, and what the Congress needs to do. I think we need to move ahead uh, in tandem or uh, complementing uh, the, the works of the special counsel uh, with a commission. Uh, I think the intelligence committees ought to continue with their investigations, which will largely be uh, in private, a commission which will have a much broader uh, perspective, which will be what did the Russians do to interfere in our elections? What are they doing, frankly, and may, perhaps even in a broader uh, sense than just the United States? And what impact did that have on our election? I think that is a critically important legislative objective. and. Uh, 
public objective, the commission could be much more public in terms of its work and inform the public as to exactly what Russia did to put our democracy at risk. So I think that uh, uh, we have a number of uh, investigations that should go forward that will complement one another and will get to the bottom of whatever happened. Congressman, as you know, the president is leaving on his first foreign trip. It's a pretty big one. Do you have any uh, concerns? What are your expectations for this trip? Well, I think the honest answer to that is I have a lot of concerns about this president dealing with uh, foreign policy. I think during the course of the campaign, uh, during the last uh, weeks as president of the United States, he has said and done things which uh, undermine the confidence that our allies have in us. It's important from our own our own interest to have their confidence, but it's important for the uh, stability and security of the global community uh, for them to have confidence in the United States of America and in its president. So I am uh, certainly hopeful that he will not either say or do things uh, in this trip uh, that will further undermine and erode the confidence of our allies and uh, raise doubts in their mind as to whether or not what we say from day to day is what would be said the next day or the day thereafter, and that uh, we will, in fact, meet our treaty obligations, uh, that we respect uh, our, our allies, understand that we are in this together. Uh, we're not the boss, but we are the leader. And there's a distinction, uh, and uh, hopefully the president will reflect that. Uh, but. Uh, uh, to tell you I didn't have concerns would not be honest. <laughs> Congressman Steny Hoyer, appreciate it. Thank you very much, and have a good weekend. Happy Friday. Thank, thank you.